Hello, I'm Andrew, and I'm a bearded idiot. Arrow was once my all-time favourite superhero show. It didn't have too much competition at the time, but it was still a great show with top-notch action, great characters, amazing moments, excellent twists, and high stakes. For me, the show really hit its peak on the mountain with Oliver and Ra's al Ghul. This fight scene was so intense, and it had me on the edge of my seat. But after watching the rest of the third season, and the following fourth season, I'm truly sad to say that the show should have ended with Oliver falling off that cliff. I would have been mad, but if I was to know how shit this show was going to get, then I'd much rather Oliver just died by falling off that cliff. The Island Flashbacks Oh my god, the flashbacks got so fucking annoying. Remember that amazing flashback during the Deathstroke fight at the end of Season 2? That was an amazing way of using this concept, and it was definitely the height of the flashbacks. They should have quit while they were ahead, and stopped forcing their now dumb and repetitive flashbacks in our face. Any remote interest I could have had while watching this stale plot and lazy fight scenes instantly disappears as soon as I hear that stupid noise. And it's amazing how the events throughout those five years correspond perfectly with the recent events. Sure, this has always been a tiny issue with season one and two, but I didn't care because they served a purpose in storytelling. Namely the build-up of Slade Wilson. When he showed up in the present day, it was so tense. Remember that feeling, because after episode 9 of season 3, the show will never deliver such a feeling again. Villains Speaking of Slade Wilson, what an excellent villain. When the thing happened with Oliver's mother and Thea, I was on the edge of my seat. I couldn't wait for the final showdown between these two well-established characters with well-established history. And then there's Damien Dark. At first I was intrigued. He's so powerful, I thought. He's so threatening. Then I saw him again, and again, and again. Hell, he almost killed Oliver at the start of a Flash crossover episode. Then when Oliver got saved, he said some smug bullshit and didn't show up in that episode again. How can you have a threatening villain if they can just casually fight him at the start of an episode? And don't even get me started on that time they took his powers away. Fucking pathetic. Repetitive dialogue. Oliver, you can't blame yourself. But I do. You can't carry all that weight. But it's all my fault. Shut up. Season finals. The season finals got so lame and boring for me. They used to be super intense and amazing with solid build up and great resolutions. The final of season one was amazing because the hero didn't save everyone. It's interesting and it is a really intense twist. Oliver locking up Slade and thanking him at the end of season two was the best way they could have resolved their fight. Those two talking was more interesting than just their big fight because they are well written characters with history. Season 3's resolve was just kind of a fight, and Season four resolve was Oliver fighting Damien Dark, who the writers suddenly made him good at fighting, although he was pathetic without powers the first time. Basically, I couldn't give a fuck about any of it. The first two seasons worked so well because the characters were focused on, the characters were consistent, and there was intensity. There were a few things in Season 3 and 4 that were interesting and could have been much better if they weren't surrounded by utter rubbish. Olicity. The relationship between Oliver and Felicity was never something I really agreed with, but oh my god, I couldn't have ever guessed how awful it would end up, and how much it would ruin Felicity's character. So Oliver and Felicity are happy and everything is great. They get wrapped up in all the arrow crap again, and although Oliver doesn't really want to, Felicity drags him into it. Oliver discovers he has a kid, and the only way the mother would let him be a part of his child's life is if he keeps it a secret. Felicity finds out and bitches about him keeping secrets and talks about how they can't be together while he's Arrow, even though they were fine until she fucked it up and dragged them back into it. She just becomes so petty and hypocritical and it's so frustrating. Conclusion. This show is a fucking mess now. Season one of The Flash was good, but even that's on the decline. Legends of Tomorrow made very little sense, and all the actions taken by the characters in all of these shows Seems extremely forced to push some drama between Oliver and Felicity or some problem with Hawkgirl or whatever. It feels unnatural, hypocritical and boring. Arrow. What happened?